Leanne being weird? When is Leanne not being weird? <laughs> Hello, and welcome to our servant review. I'm Bill. And I'm Sonia. And this is our review of Servant Season 3, Episode 6, Fish. So, this one, Sean's dinner party goes south when Leanne is rude to a guest. Dorothy uncovers frightening details from the block party. This is the description they, they gave, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This episode was written by Amy Louise Johnson. Mm-hmm. She's worked on mainly on TV dramas like Netflix's political thriller Messiah. Yeah, I've never seen I've it. I've never seen it either, but yeah. maybe, maybe we should we'll watch check it. it out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's directed by Kitty Green. She's an Australian filmmaker who's done documentaries. Uh, One of the documentaries is called uh, Ukraine is a Brothel. Oh. So it profiled a Ukrainian feminist group uh, famous for its topless protest. Oh, kind of uh, pertinent now since Ukraine's in the news. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sad. She also wrote and directed on a film called The Assistant with Julia Garner. Mm. Do you know Julia Garner? She's the one that um, is in um, oh, that show that we love. Uh, uh, she got the curly hair. Uh, what is her name? Uh, oh, I'll forget it. Are you thinking Jennifer Garner? No, Julia Garner. You'll 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 see a picture of her. And you know who I'm talking about. No. Oh oh. But, Ozarks, uh, right? Ozarks. The, the young. Yes. The young girl. Yes. Uh, um, Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I know what you're talking about now. Um, yeah, and she's the movie, cool. yeah, yeah. And the movie is uh, about the Me Too movement. Okay. So, all right. And the Harvey Wein- Weinstein ugh, ugh. scandal. That's the old Harvey Weinstein. So, what happened to your theory? Ah, <laughs> I was hoping you weren't going to mention it. So, all right. Uh, you know, you guys, I had that theory that, uh, you know, uh, Leanne was just paranoid and the couple was actually trying to help her and, you know, blah, 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 blah. Yeah. And that was completely wrong. You and the servant community, uh, you know, for the most part, were, were absolutely right about that. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, so, yeah, I was wrong about the couple. And we'll, we'll get into that a little more when we get to Leanne's section because we're going to do it the same way as last time, breaking down each character's. But uh, what did you think? Of course, I'm happy we got to see what happened to Leanne in the park. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, I like the episode. There was a lot of one-liners in this episode, which is needed because it helps break the tension of this series for sure. You know, I I, I will say this. One one thing, I am kind of happy. I'm not disappointed that I was wrong, you know? Mm -hmm. Um. Because it does mean that there's supernatural stuff going on, yeah. you know, so yeah. I kind of want that to happen. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't mm-hmm. like being wrong, but I don't mind being wrong when it's, you know, it's for a, a good reason. <laughs> <laughs> um, like I said, we're going to go by characters again this time. That okay. seemed to uh, seem to go well and people commented that they liked it. So All right. we'll do that. We're going to go through each character's experience in this episode and that should cover everything. Again, if we miss something, let us know in the comments. All right, perfect. First character we're going to cover is Sean. Sean. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So. All right, so um, the episode begins with Sean praying again. Um, what do you yeah, think like he was properly praying? praying right. You know? a proper pra- <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a proper hands, prayer. Hands like. Mm hmm. Just, was he? Was yeah, he? yeah. I don't remember. Like he was just standing in the window. Um, what do you think he was praying for? Uh, you know, I think maybe he was uh, praying that dinner goes well. <laughs> you know, how obsessed <laughs> he is. Prayer was it. not answered. No, it was not. <laughs> uh, then we see Sean reading a children's book to Jericho. Mm. Uh, it was like, oh, I looked at the lyrics. The, the, the lyrics were the, the lyrics. The lyrics, sorry, the the um, the writing. No, oh, the words and the words. Book? Yeah, yeah. Okay. The green fogs green danced frogs in the pond that the night, pond. while the black sheep cried in the pale black moonlight. Black sheep cried. That's the, pale the black sheep, not me. Oh, so I. Why did he say that? You yeah, know? like is some someone supposed to be the black sheep? I don't know, but I tried to look up to see if it was a real book. Yeah, I was wondering if it was a real book um, or something. 
But um, I didn't. I, I don't think it was a real book. I think maybe they wrote it just, they did it just for the show. Oh. Well, you did notice that Sean said, um, what did he say? Uh, when the baby, he looked at the baby and says, oh, you think that's funny? Do <laughs> yeah. you? You know, and yeah. the baby wasn't even laughing or smiling. Like, <laughs> What do you think he was talking about? The baby didn't get the memo. <laughs> <laughs> baby didn't show up for script practice. <laughs> yeah, baby, you can't you can't control children. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Maybe it was just that. Uh, uh, that's funny. Anyway. So right after this, we hear um, an iPhone Sean. buzzing, and it's a gourmet flattered, gauntlet it's again. And Sean is flattered, yeah. but um, okay. He's right, you too. It. Yeah, it's just not the right time. He says, mm-hmm. "You know what mm-hmm. really annoyed me? What? You know, <laughs> and y'all know how I feel about Dorothy, but she came in. Okay, thank you. Bye. And was like, Sean, what are you doing? Because he's talking Our on the phone for a second. Shrieking. The baby was just cooing. He he wasn't mm-hmm. even crying, mm-hmm. and she's like, your son is literally shrieking. <laughs> like, what is her problem? You know, yeah, it, it, that bothered me so much. Yeah, um, but let's get know. into uh, Sean getting a rare bit of support from Dorothy. Right. After that, you know, because we see her up and down, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. attitude. But uh, Right, right. So, yeah, she's actually being supportive, saying you should take this, this gig, mm-hmm. you know. Um, but, you know, he doesn't want her to take it because he doesn't want her memory to come back. Yeah. You know, um, need a guest judge. the way he was looking at her, too, was oh, just like, this is huge. Almost like, I want to tell you, you yeah. know, <laughs> <laughs> like, why don't you take it? You know, it's like, well, yeah, I don't want you to kill our baby again. <laughs> you know, oh so you couldn't handle it the first time. Mm-hmm. Right? So he uh, just, yeah, he just wants to make the house a home, you know. Yeah. But so and then it shows Sean or jumping on the boards what did you think of that in the like in the cellar or i don't this yeah we're the wine cellar okay all right so So. the hole that (laughs) dorothy buried leanne in right (laughs) right right. um i think he was just trying to figure out how to cover it you know which i don't see why it's such a a big deal Somebody was coming out maybe he just it's not that big of a a hole well Mm -hmm. they said another episode they can't get people out there to to fix it you know yeah but uh, yeah, I think he was just trying to figure out how to hmm. how to do it better, you were make it more confused by that whole scene. You said, "Well, you know, doing remodeling on the side, like I've done a bunch of stuff like that. I've actually fixed, <laughs> you know, a, a foundation like that before. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not like that. that. Yeah, it was it was a bit of a smaller hole, <laughs> but uh, you know, it wasn't. I don't remember that." <laughs> You should. You should. No, I remember. I remember the hole. Yeah, it was about it, half it the wasn't size, like that. Maybe a third of the size. Okay. So I mean, it, it, okay. but still, it's not that dramatic. Of I can't figure this out, you know. Mm-hmm. Plus, the boards he had, you know, and I work with wood a lot. The boards he had on there were solid, and he's worried about, oh, you know, these aren't strong enough. Well, yes, mm-hmm. they were. They could have <laughs> both stood on it easily because, yeah, you know, it's one thing if. Maybe the boards, the hole was bigger and they were stretched out, but it's not. Like, those were pretty solid boards, and they were right in the middle. I, I don't know. Huh. It, it, yeah, I guess you have to work in the trades or guess. something for it to bother you so much. Because <laughs> <laughs> you were looking at me like, what? Yeah. <laughs> well, I feel like Sean was really sharp with Leanne, a little nasty to Leanne right. in this episode. All of a sudden, he's kind of switched back, so he's more worried about, perceptions of other people than he was leanne here he's treating her more like a child right Mm -hmm. um yeah i mean he got really impressed uh impatient with her Mm -hmm. and uh you know he wasn't as sweet as he's been because he's been super sweet and worried about her well-being and what she Mm -hmm. feels and thinks and you know he was just really snapping at her uh, this time and uh there was some talk though in, in that Leanne mentioned why bother building bridges then. And why even you know? bother building bridges? Yeah, she, meant, she talked about building bridges. That's when she stepped on it and angered him, and he, for some reason, fell off the, the bridge. But okay. he has been building lots of bridges, mm-hmm. you know, especially mm-hmm. this season. And last thing, he's, uh, you know, with Leanne, of course, he's, mm-hmm. you know, he's really, they have a good connection now. 
right? And then he's uh, building bridges with the homeless kids. Yeah. You know, he's really yeah. been reaching out there. And 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 Nancy is a new person. So he's building bridges with <laughs> yeah. a, um, a community. Right. You know? Yeah. Later we'll see that bridges burn. <laughs> but. <laughs> yeah, you think he got excommunicated I, I do i do i don't think he's gonna i don't think he's welcome back <laughs> uh, well okay then we we see uh we see sean again praying mm-hmm. with his eyes closed um but when he opens it up he's shocked and there's dorothy in his face with some goop did i scare you with my face mask never <laughs> You look great with your even your face mask. Uh, I love Dorothy's line. I, I you know what? I, I can't stand Dorothy, but she did really. She, I I kind of liked her in this episode. She was really funny. So you know, I felt like she replaced Julian for an episode with the uh-huh. witty, snappy, right quips and yeah. one liners. You know, mm-hmm. she was just cranking mm-hmm. them out. You know, because <laughs> like what did he? What did she say about it? Like when he looked at her, it's like she's like. Oh, Believe trust, me, trust you're me. scarier. Yeah, trust me. This is trust scarier. Me. Yeah. <laughs> this is scarier. <laughs> right. And he's like, you better get used to it. And yeah. she's like, what, to my husband being a closet altar boy? <laughs> that or? was a nice way to put it. You know, she could have went somewhere else with it, you know. Uh, but I personally, I miss Sean and Julian's conversations this season. You know? Yeah. Uh, here's Sean in the kitchen talking to Julian about gourmet gauntlet mm-hmm, you know and it looks mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. you know actually she sicked him she sick juju on on him right but right anyway. yeah and it seems like sean for a second is like well, why can't i do it you know but then he's like i he wants to move on but he wants to also do it really yeah but, um but what uh, julian's like no you know no, you got to say no. Yeah, 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 he's being being practical <laughs> still. Uh, at this point, um, Sean walks in, and remember, guys, we're doing it by character. So mm-hmm. if you feel like we're skipping something, we're not. We're we're just going. Yeah, we'll by get to it. Characters, yeah. So mm-hmm. uh, the next Sean scene is he walks into Nancy, the dining room here? and notices Nancy is there. Us? Mm-hmm. And rudely, oh, it's fine. Asked Leanne, you know, why didn't you tell us she was here? Right. Yeah. And Nancy brought some Trader Joe's wine. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> and asked his, and well, she, she, no, she didn't say anything at that point. It at was that later point, on. She didn't say anything. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Eh. She Do just, you think Sean's a snob though? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Absolutely. Is this guy's got $5,000 bottles of wine, you know, downstairs mm-hmm. and you know, mm-hmm. she brings a $6 bottle. <laughs> You know, well, six to twelve dollars. You know, I've I've got right. some wine at Trader Joe's before. Mm-hmm. It's not the best place for wine, but in a pinch, <laughs> it's all right. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, but if it's Trader Joe's, it's it's anywhere from like six to twelve bucks, probably. So it's you know not something you serve to somebody who's a wine connoisseur, right? You know, mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. yeah. You said something about Sean was being selfie facing at this point. I'm not sure what you were. Oh, he, just the whole, he, he was the whole thing kind of talking, you know, self-facing really is like telling jokes at your own expense. Mm-hmm. You know, I think he was trying to be self-facing, but it really came across as pretentious, yeah. you know? And that's why he was getting like eye rolls from Julian and, uh, <laughs> and Dorothy at the table, you know? Yeah. I love how Julian <laughs> kept referring to Nancy as the God lady. Oh, yeah. So from, well, he got everyone else doing it yes, too, right? Yes. Dorothy, at least. He's, he's, he's got. He's gonna have us doing it because from this point forward, we're gonna try to refer to Nancy as the God, God Lady. lady. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh. but like I said, you know, Sean was really pontificating with his speech. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he's talking about the symbolism of fish and all this, but he was, he, yeah, he's really. His first dish is like, he caramono. It, it, it was it was obvious, obvious. So why don't you, take you the know first bite? so in his attempt at humility he's really being arrogant you know didn't you yeah feel that yeah yeah absolutely and dorothy and julian definitely felt it because they were rolling <laughs> their eyes right right <laughs> um you know but he's talking about the simplicity of the male and how down to earth it is mm-hmm. that's just like rich people saying 
Right. You know, oh, I'm so down to earth. You know, I'm, I talk to the peasants, <laughs> and you know, that's that's how it came across. Well, it's almost like a meal. He was acting like it was a meal you would serve to Jesus. Yeah. So. <laughs> well, I, and they did kind of right. And the Bible talks about. You know, serving simple fr- fish, bread, and salt, or something mm-hmm. like that. I don't, I don't or like know. two fish fed five thousand people, or something like that. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Something like that. <laughs> Do did you notice though in this season that the food is more edible for season more three? More edible? You mean, I think so. More like, like not not as not, not as, as crazy. Not yeah, not as crazy. And I think I was watching an interview, and they said a part of that they did that is because the actors actually eat that food oh that they that oh, they cook i'd be upset if my <laughs> scene was on lobster ice cream day or uh you know uh, or the haggis? placenta day oh the placenta oh my gosh oh my gosh oh yes haggis i would try you would try the haggis yeah because isabel isabel had to eat that croquembouche Oh, she ate Dorothy. Yeah. Would they even I, the interview I was watching? They said the haggis stunk so bad. It was really? so pungent. Oh, my gosh. Um, because they're in a confined space. They said it was a lot of odors. Um, they said it was awful. I bet, too. And <laughs> haggis is sheep stomach, right? Stuff with offal, which is like mm-hmm. organs mm-hmm. and rice and oats and stuff like that. So I can imagine it was bad. Yeah. yeah. So what did he he, he mentioned something about the fish, a certain type of fish he was serving or whatever. Uh, it sounded like it was Japanese. It's a uh, kika rimono. It looked like sushi almost as the first dish. And then whole white bait fish with lime and white cilantro. White bait fish? White bait fish. It's a bait f- I don't know. Like mackerels? Like a mackerel is kind of a bait I think it's mackerel. He didn't say it was oily. He said the wine did goes perfectly with, with the oily, oily mackerel yeah, or something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Okay. Um, that makes sense. But he served it with a lime and cilantro jalapeno aioli. That sounds kind of good, though. It does. It does. It does. What, um, well, what did he serve her, though? Because oh. she, she busted out with the, oh, I'm vegan thing, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. in a weird time. Like, oh, and I thought you knew. How, how would he just know yeah, that? How would he know? It looks like they just drink coffee and donuts probably at the At the church, meetings. right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So why, why would you just assume? <laughs> it looks like a pear. With a sauce over it. And then, of course, the crinkle cut fries, her favorite. <laughs> and double dip spaghetti, complemented with hair. Okay. Yeah, yeah, the hair thing. Ooh. And I, <laughs> I think she, I think she did it on purpose. What? Ooh, Leanne? Yeah. So, do you think Leanne put the hair in her tomato compote? It was compote. That's what she called it. Oh, really? Nancy called it tomato compote. Oh, we, we call it spaghetti. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but she called, I think, what do you guys think? Do you think Leanne, that was Leanne's hair? I had that, to be Leanne's yeah, hair, right? I, Yeah, I think Leanne, you know. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, just, just awful. Um, uh, did you know that Nell Tiger Free is a vegan? I know mean, she's an actress in Hollywood and Gen <laughs> Z or Y or whatever they are now. So I'm not surprised. Not surprised. Uh, yeah. Yeah. They have to make a uh, special vegan versions of food for her to eat. Wow. That's nice of them. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, did you guys all hear um, Sean under his breath drop the F word? Now, I didn't do you know what I'm talking about? For, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't hear it at first. I had to play it back, and then I I, I heard it. Yeah. So It when, wasn't on the subtitles. It was not. So. Yeah, we, we, we listened to it, <laughs> or we watch it at least once or twice, mm. the episode with subtitles on to make sure we don't mm-hmm, miss stuff. So, mm-hmm. um, Do you guys watch it with subtitles, too? You, you should. You kind of have to. <laughs> you should, because yeah. you'll, you'll, you'll find things that you didn't notice. But anyway... When she mentioned that she was vegan and he's like, oh, let me go whip up something for you real quick. He was acting all cool and chill. He turned around and, I mean, he took one step and was like, I don't know, ever. You know? He's just mad at himself. Like, Dang I'm it. sure he was. You know? I'm sure he was. I made this but, whole meal and she's you know, a meat, you know, she can't eat the food. He also then later uh, admitted, or he said, I, I surrender. This was the worst meal I've ever made. But it was kind <laughs> of like... Again, it was a little pretentious. So mm-hmm. did he think maybe it wasn't? I don't know. Um, 
Yeah, but Dorothy, Dorothy didn't, didn't like it no, either. No, Dorothy right? didn't like it. She made a little smart comment about the fish. I can't remember. A pun. Yeah, yeah, she made a pun about that. The he's fish. off the hook because he's not up to it's, scale. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. For a second, it reminded me of uh, that song, Rapper's Delight. <laughs> Have you ever went over a friend's house to eat and the food just ain't no good? <laughs> <laughs> the chicken tastes like wood. Right. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, my gosh. That so, is hilarious. But, uh, you know, Dorothy had dropped that question, which I don't think it was unreasonable. She's like, you know, so what do you guys talk about in confession? And Sean was, you know, clutching his pearls at that. (laughs) Uh, The lady, the God lady said, we don't do confession. I'm not into guilt. And then there was a weirdness. There was. There was. And Leanne picked up on it. Mm -hmm. Well, now we know why Sean chose that church. You, <laughs> you know? think so? So, I mean, not that Sean doesn't feel guilty. He he definitely does feel oh, yeah, guilty, feels but guilty. maybe, you know, he kind of chose that can church. Can relate maybe? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. I think that's a good point. He can re- can relate. Yeah. So. Well, one thing he can relate to too that no one else could <laughs> was <laughs> the, the, he's telling a story. It, it's an inside joke between him and the god lady talking about the like I, I guess the choir director or whatever this yeah the fart older lady lady farting as she's eighty <laughs> five year old Susan yes and everyone else is just looking at him like what you know like right. what are you talking about but they kept going like they wouldn't stop mm-hmm. obviously well, didn't you think they were getting annoyed oh like, Dorothy was really annoyed right you know you could see it all over her face Dorothy was annoyed yeah, Leanne um, <laughs> woo. She was just staring daggers the whole time. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> and, uh, you know, of course, Sean tells Leanne that you're being rude, uh, especially during the whole say grace thing. Mm-hmm, you know, and Leanne mm-hmm. just went, grace. And, <laughs> uh, and, and then uh, Sean, he, he throws the napkin right about that point, right? And No, that was a little bit later. He was talking really? to Julian. Yeah. Okay. He was talking to Julian about something. Um, and, uh, I, it wasn't, he wasn't mad, but it was just kind of like a playful thing. And he threw the napkin at Juju and Mm -hmm. it knocked the wine bottle and, and it poured into, uh, Leanne's plate. Yeah. It looked like blood. It did look like blood. And if you, if you go and pause it guys on that scene, (laughs) maybe this is me just looking into it too much. You know, which I have a tendency to do. But the knife is up with the blade down and has wine on it, looking like a bloody knife. Mm-hmm. This triggers Leanne, and she gets a flashback to the night before getting attacked. Mm-hmm. You know, and we kind of see everything that happened, right? Yeah, well, they showed that flashback a couple times to where you got to see what happened through the series of her flashbacks, the entire okay, scene of yeah, what happened. Yeah. Um, but the God lady, mm-hmm. <laughs> um, Leanne must have said something like, oh, we're going to share our secrets or something around that time because the God lady then says, Sean, what we say in prayer group is private big mouth and you know <laughs> but, but, yeah um yeah he did he did assure her though that yeah. he he's like i never said a word right you know right i don't and think nancy I, believed him but. i definitely not because she said thank you but then for a nice you know dinner or whatever mm-hmm. um mm-hmm. she gets up she leaves sean chases her after kind of chastising everybody like thanks right. a lot everyone yeah. thanks for dinner yeah Thanks and then, for being on your best behavior. <laughs> <laughs> well, and she goes, he goes to stop her and it's like, Nancy, and she's like, get the F away from me. Going back. Right. And I asked you if he was excommunicated. <laughs> yeah, he is excommunicated. <laughs> <laughs> That's what get the F away from me means in Unitarianism. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, after that, Sean, defeated, goes up to the attic. Uh, He says to Leanne, there's no way you could have known about that story. Mm -hmm. You know, Nancy's, Nancy's story. Mm -hmm. Um, Which at this point, we, we don't know what it is either. We just know there's something. 
Right. Um, and, you know, Sean makes a weird comment saying, I thought we were on the same side here, which, mm-hmm. what an odd thing to say to her, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, Sean believes that God brought Jericho back through Leanne, you know, not mm-hmm. just Leanne, <laughs> mm-hmm. but through Leanne. And then yeah, um, well, Leanne checks him. Yeah. No, she yeah. says, and we had seen this in a preview, or I think everybody was really excited to, to, mm-hmm. to know what it was about, because yeah. she says. It's a great line. Yeah. God didn't bring back Jericho. Right? Mm, then who did? Right? That, that's what John says. Then who Sean, did? Yeah, what Sean says. That, yeah, yeah, yeah. And this was a great response, because she, like, quite arrogantly gets up, you know, kind of like, gets up, strolls over to him, almost like he's she's going to whisper in his ear, right? Mm-hmm. She's mm-hmm. looking past him, and uh, she's just like, take the job. It's going to be okay. You know, mm-hmm. and yeah. earlier she had said, it's different because I'm here. Right, I'm, so, it's going to be different this time I'm here. My theory, you guys, <laughs> on this one, and, and some of you already probably know this from interactions, but uh, I think... That that's her way of saying, God didn't bring back Jericho, I did, and she's feeling herself now. Mm-hmm. She's feeling that mm-hmm. power, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. And she now wants him to know that and to right. to fill up, fill mm-hmm. her, you mm-hmm. know. So that was Sean. Now we're gonna go to Juju. Juju Julian, my favorite <laughs> character. <laughs> yeah, this was pretty light on Julian. You know, there wasn't a whole lot of Julian mm-hmm, in this. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So we see in the beginning, just he shows up for dinner. Right. We all need a little Julian in our lives. Can we all, can I get a witness? <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> yeah, he, he's great. But he, he did notice that her hair was different, yeah. which is uh, odd for Julian, I yeah, think. Yeah, he noticed you know? it was curly. and that Well, no, no, no. He noticed it was different. Oh, no, she, she said it curly. was curly. Yes, yes. Well, but, obviously, hey. he must have noticed it was, you know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that, to me, that that was showing me that he does really like Leanne because mm, mm-hmm. a man doesn't notice those small things normally, you know. Usually, I do. You, you I do. do. You do. You're special. But, you know, a lot of times a woman is, like, looking for those compliments. Like, did you notice something different about me today? <laughs> <laughs> uh, when When you go that far... It's already, you've <laughs> lost, man. <laughs> Guys, you've lost at that point. Um, it's funny because Julian also mentioned uh, meeting the God lady. The yeah, and, the door. and she's like, it's oh, me too. But she says it in a way that she makes him doubt. Holy she turf. really does. And she's like, um, is that jealousy I sense? Is she stepping on your holy turf? Right. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I, I thought that was funny. Yeah. And then they next we see him eating the spaghetti. <laughs> yeah. And he's and you said he what? was um He's double dipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And they serve that same spaghetti to Nancy later. Yeah. Yeah. So you know? uh so and then Yeah, he says he, he wasn't eating because Sean chastise him a bit for doing that you know because mm-hmm, mm-hmm. it's rude he's eating right out of the container out of yeah you know you yeah doing? and uh, he says eating. i'm not eating i'm priming <laughs> i which, didn't know what that meant well because yeah. like competitor competitive eaters okay like those gross hot dog competitions that always make me sick watching yeah. them um <laughs> they they don't just like go on empty stomachs they they eat there's like a schedule or something yeah where they eat a little bit at certain times and it gets I don't know what it does, but it gets their stomach able to handle all the food or whatever. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but this he urges Sean not you know, not to do gourmet gauntlet. Right. And right. he says what's that line he says? He to says her? uh it's gonna wake her up from her sleeping it's beauty totally wake routine. Her up from her sleeping beauty yeah. Routine. Which is kind of an a hole way of saying it, you know. Right, right. You know, he he seems a little tired of of it and like you mm-hmm. know she should snap out of it but mm-hmm. he's still pretty supportive but yeah. they're banning you know they're banning you know how they're banning all these books they're ban- trying to ban sleeping beauty too well it is a little rapey mm. you know what i mean <laughs> i always thought of that for a little peppy Le Pew-ish. Rapey, you know like, she's like the guy from asleep uh, <laughs> like the security guy 
Uh, kind of rapey from the from the last episode. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Worse, <laughs> worse than that. Worse. <laughs> so I mean, not that I necessarily agree with the band, but you know, I I, I can understand where that's coming from a little bit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> There's some. It's problematic. Okay. But my favorite line uh, uh, from Julian this time, he mm-hmm. dropped he dropped some rap lyrics, old school rap <laughs> lyrics from uh, from Skilo of all people. A kind of a I, I wouldn't say the song is is um, uh, what am I looking for? It, it's not a uh, like a um, reference that's. It's a popular song. Yeah. Is what I'm trying to say. It, was a obscure. Bit taller. It's not an obscure reference, but nobody knows who sang it usually. You know, unless you're, you're a rap fan. But yeah, yeah. he busts that out, and because Sean says something like he he wanted blah blah blah, or he wishes this. You know, kind of a grandiose thing. Mm-hmm. And in return, Juju drops the the lyrics. You know, I wish I was mm-hmm. a little bit taller. Mm-hmm. Wish I was a baller. You know, <laughs> <laughs> basically uh. saying wish all you want. You know, right, right. It's not gonna happen. Yep. Well, I'm thinking that Skilo, them, them bringing up this lyric from that song and reference, you know, from Skilo is also another nod to Black History Month. Okay. So, um, I wanted to talk about another African American writer, director, and producer. Did you guys know that Spike Lee is the reason? M. Night Shyamalan is a filmmaker. I did not know that. Yeah, I saw that in, a, in his, one of his interviews. He said, really? yeah, he said that he followed um, Spike Lee's lead because he didn't, Spike Lee was doing things that didn't look like any anyone else's um, work. Um, he he's did from a the lot East of Coast. different stuff, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. And he didn't ask permission Uh he said if he didn't read the book by Spike Lee, she's got to have it, that he'd be a doctor like his, like his wow, family. Wow, <laughs> that's really cool. Yeah, I, t- I tell you what, like she's got to have it. it. had an impact on me. You know, yeah. I mean, I was young when I saw it. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I mean, I'm a, a boy and, a, you know, I was a boxer a and, you know, a, a uh, rough area. And, you know what I mean? Like I wasn't necessarily openly artistic and stuff like that but Mm -hmm. that movie like really i understood filmmaking as an art okay after seeing that movie Mm -hmm. you know i didn't really know how to express it or what what but i'm like there's something special about this you know so yeah that that's cool to hear yeah cool to hear that so uh, Julian, getting back to dinner. Sorry, I, I, got, I got off <laughs> well, on I'm tangent. the one who went off on Black History Month. <laughs> yeah, so. It's your fault. Yeah, yeah it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Julian seems just to be enjoying the antics of the evening. He is. He's just, instigator. Yeah, yeah. He's loving it. <laughs> At one point, he says, holy bloop, this dinner is fun. Yeah, right? So. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, Perfect. This is perfect. You yeah, know? yeah, it's fun. But but he did, uh, except when he knocks at the door for uh, Dorothy and Leanne because they're in the they're in the bathroom talking. I think. Oh and yeah. And it's yeah. Julian. He says, "You let you left me out here with Sean and the God Lady all by myself." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. He also um, he was being really nice to Nancy. He was. But he, was. he um he introduced himself, uh, uh, Julian. Atheist, nihilist, Julian, which if atheist, you don't know, nihilist. nihilist is basically someone that everything, everything sucks, you know, mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. looking at the the bad side of everything. And um, that was a, I thought it was cool because Frederick Nietzsche was a nihilist and, and uh, atheist and, you know, he used kind of that. Uh, yeah. A line there. You got a tattoo on your arm from a quote from him, right? I do. Yeah. His most famous quote. Okay. You know? So, yeah, I was like eight or nine years old. And I went to the drive in with my dad and stepmom and stepbrother. And, um, we were watching Conan the barbarian. And I guess, uh, the producer, um, gosh, what was his name? Um, his daughter is that chef Giada. 
What's the last name? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, know what you're about. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll remember it like after the video, right? Uh, anyway, um, I guess he was a big Nietzsche fan. So in the beginning of Conan the Barbarian, it puts up that Nietzsche quote, you know, that which does not kill you makes you stronger. And it had such a profound effect on me. I know it seems silly, but that stayed with me. I read that and I was just like, you know, like everything fell into place in my brain. And it's like any time I went through hard times in my life, from that point on, it that popped in my head and it, it gave me comfort, you know? So, yeah. Well, anyway. It has to mean a lot to you if you're going to get it permanently on your body. Absolutely. So. <laughs> <laughs> So, but Julian has a funny line here, too. He does. He, he says, uh, Dorothy, well, Dorothy, well. She made a comment. She made a comment. A nasty comment. Yeah, about, about her education. About, about Nancy's, Nancy's education. The God yeah. ladies. Yeah, education. <laughs> and he said, Dorothy has a master's in WASP linguistics. And you just got roasted. <laughs> <laughs> um, For those not knowing Dorothy what a wasp is, is wasp. Uh, it means white Anglo-Saxon princess or prince. Okay. It's basically just snooty white people, you know, <laughs> who think they're better than um, everybody. Like Dorothy, you know. <laughs> mm-hmm. she didn't, you know, it didn't seem to phase Nancy one bit. She kind of smirked. Yeah. You know, she's like, yeah. Seems like she's yeah. used to that. <laughs> Looks to me like um, Julian is struggling with his sobriety. He says, you you, you could pay me for the, for the wine. Right, right. Because Sean had made a comment, yeah. right? He said, you couldn't pay me to drink that. You couldn't this. pay me to drink that mm-hmm, stuff. And mm-hmm. he's like, you could pay me. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, but this red wine with fish comment and the wine spill, that, that's the time it starts that that flashback that flashback yeah. and with leanne she's in the greenhouse yeah after dinner's over right after dinner's oh, yeah, over yeah, yeah. nance god lady bounces and mm-hmm. then uh julian and leanne go out into the, the greenhouse. greenhouse to relax and talk yes. yes 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 and this is where we find out what what nancy ha- did what nancy did yes yeah well, we kind of knew during... Well, we didn't know exactly. We knew there was something in her past that Leanne was picking up on. Well, no, because Leanne at dinner was saying, oh, you you enjoyed hitting her and all that. But we didn't know who. Yeah, we didn't so, know what she talked about. Told right, her she's rotten right, inside. Yeah. Right, And then Julianne asked Leanne, how did you know Nancy was so naughty? Right. To which she just said she guessed, you know. Mm-hmm. So... Yeah. And, and, and again, we haven't... You know, I've, I've said a lot that Leanne is... For her age, she's like super disconnected with her her <laughs> yeah. generation. She doesn't know a whole lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. So she mm-hmm. actually asks, <laughs> she asked Julian, can you teach me how to smoke marijuana? Like, <laughs> like I, I imagine my 80-year-old grandma would, would say it like that, right? Mm-hmm, uh, mm-hmm. It was just so strange, right, you know? Right. It's also funny that, he had a stash <laughs> right yeah. there behind him, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, and that it was old and weak and be perfect for him. Right, right. Uh, so, you know, she takes a couple puffs from the marijuana's giggling and they're kind of laughing. And mm-hmm. and then somebody comes creeping up, right? Mm-hmm. And uh, it was the, what do we, we're kind of calling him the lead homeless guy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, that's when Julian steps up and flexes a bit right mm-hmm. and tells him what did he say to him he said get the f out of here get the f out of here it was funny <laughs> we got two of those f yeah you yeah. know mm-hmm. uh, the guy didn't flinch he though. didn't flinch at all almost like know. he wasn't even there so i know some people are going to think julian's a ghost or <laughs> something <laughs> but uh yeah i definitely don't think that but he just was just waiting for his master's command Right? Because right. that's how he acted. Yeah, he's protecting. Yeah. I mean, he's like, are you all right? Girl, you all right? <laughs> <laughs> Do we need to take care of him? <laughs> <laughs> all right, right. And she didn't even look. She just sat there, you know, kind of like the mob boss. Yes. Right? Yes. And she's like, yes, I'm fine. You know, like, <laughs> you can go now. Uh, so, and he does. Mm-hmm, you know? Mm-hmm. So. so now Dorothy had a huge 
uh, to me, she had a huge part in, I agree. This, in this this episode. This was Dorothy's episode, yeah. So we're going to go to Dorothy, my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> Not, <laughs> but <laughs> my favorite this episode. Uh, your overall thoughts about Dorothy this Ooh, episode, man. Well, Bill? You, you all know my overall those thoughts, but... <laughs> Um, okay, she was equal parts awful with her pretentiousness, treating Leanne like a peasant, and equal parts hilarious. She was the one liner <laughs> champ, she was Julian esque, um, <clears throat> more than a couple times. Mm -hmm. Uh, even though Leanne had the best line in the episode, which I want you to talk about. Uh, when we get to land section, because you, you do it really well and okay. had me cracking up. Uh, but Dorothy had like two to three great zingers throughout this. <laughs> yeah, you're so right. One of my favorite lines from Dorothy this episode was when she was planning those, um, I think they were purple petunias. Uh, she tells Leanne... She tells me Sean has been having an affair. Mm. And Leanne kind of looks at her like, what? Like, say what? Okay. <laughs> With Jesus. <laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, Leanne's face too was just like, okay, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, then we began here with Dorothy, and, you know, in the beginning, right? right? Like her first scene in this episode, right? Uh, gosh, another thing angered me. She wakes Leanne up by barging in like Kool-Aid man and Dorothy. ripping up the, <laughs> okay? the window sash, you know? Right. Uh, Leanne is startled, which scares and annoys privileged ass Dorothy. Mm -hmm. You know, she mm -hmm. was like, it was a problem for her. Like, Oh my gosh, I wish Leanne would just lock the door. <laughs> you know, like, how dare you do that? <laughs> yeah, I agree. But sleeping till noon is the most normal thing Leanne has done. <laughs> right. As, that's you know, that's what teenagers teenager. do. They right. sleep till noon, especially when you got bum rush the night before. <laughs> so, <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, Dorothy can tell that she looks unwell and tells her she should relax because it's Sunday and. You know, like, look what I'm doing for you, basically. Mm -hmm. She even mentions how proud she is of her I'm for proud. venturing out and how nothing happened. Clueless ass, Dorothy. You ventured yeah. out. And yeah. Guess what? Preach Pastor nothing Bill. Because <laughs> Dorothy is clueless. Clueless, clueless. Dorothy has no idea that she got that beat down mm. that occurred in her backyard. So. Yeah, yeah Dorothy, Dorothy comes in the baby up. room. Uh, also. We talked about this a little bit, but while yeah. Sean is blowing off the gourmet gauntlet lady again, which is a huge thing, mm -hmm. you know, and he's putting mm -hmm. family first, okay. putting Dorothy you, first, as usual. Uh, and she criticizes Sean, Sean. for ignoring Jericho. His son was literally, literally shrieking. Shrieking. I know I mentioned it before, but it's made me so angry that she was completely exaggerating the whole thing. He wasn't even crying. Yeah. Well, you know what? Jericho knows he needs to be fussing all the time. Or else Dorothy will forget about him. So. Oh, good point. Good point. Talk about preach. That child does not need to be quiet. So. That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's funny is Sean remains calm and allows her to check his phone. Like, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. like I, I don't care if you look through my phone. It's never bothered me. But I would be angry. I, I would call Dorothy out at least for, you know, the shrieking comment and, you know, being so melodramatic. Well, he's kind of like, yeah, I was only gone a second. But um, we mentioned it earlier. So, but we were talking about Dorothy. We'll say it yeah, again. Yeah, this is from Sean's point of view. Yeah. Sean! Yeah, she's being supportive. This is huge. Um, but then she insults she said, him by saying, is this, this, is this the whole God thing? <laughs> the reason, you know, the reason why you don't want to take this job for this gourmet gauntlet job. Yeah, she said it very caustically as well, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. So, it says, Sean remains calm, lets her walk through the... Or, go through her phone and see who the producer lady called and blah, 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 blah. But uh, I was thinking, you know, even though he just walked away without saying something, I was yeah. sure he was thinking, well, no, Dorothy, it's a whole last time I went on gourmet gauntlet, you killed our baby thing. <laughs> I was like, I wish she would have said that. Yikes. Zoinks. Yeah. <laughs> you went there. I did. I did. <laughs> but that's why Sean uh, tells Me? her while they're on I'm the just bed a that you know, uh, you're the he's wolf. the wolf. <laughs> And not the little lamb. Yeah, that, I didn't think of that at the time, but mm -hmm. you know, I thought she was just fishing for a compliment. But you know, subconsciously, she she definitely is a wolf. <laughs> you know, <laughs> uh, well, the very next scene we see Dorothy 
literally Leanne! shrieking <laughs> for Leanne to come down. Leanne! Even after just telling her to relax mm -hmm, and that she mm -hmm. needs rest. Yeah, that scene <sighs> reminded me of season two um, when when Dorothy kept calling for Sean. Sean, Sean. It's the same <laughs> yes. thing. Leanne. Leanne. Yeah. It's very demanding. <laughs> But then Dorothy has the damn nerve to tell uh, Sean that she doesn't want her son to look at his father as the guy who wouldn't even try. Mm -hmm. I mean, season two, Sean may have exploded on her, but now he's far more patient. And mm -hmm. he just took that like no big deal. Yeah. You know, yeah. again, another thing where he could have just said, well, last time. Don't let our son our know you as the guy. <laughs> you know, too scared that's to why I'm at. Well, him. yeah, right. Like he's never going to say that. The show would no, be right. over. <laughs> 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 We'd have no servant, probably. Mm. Oh, but <laughs> but yeah, Dorothy is the worst. So that statement, you know, from her was was totally uncalled for. Yeah, so. and I, I'm getting mad just <laughs> recapping this and thinking of it. But you know, it's like she, uh, you know, she obviously doesn't remember, you know, mm -hmm. because she's making these these comments. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well. The camera focuses on Dorothy's hand, which is covered in mud and soil. Mm -hmm. uh, to me, this harkens back to the resurrected cult members who are usually dirty. Okay. What is the significance? You know, because why would they focus on that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So anyway, I don't know if that means anything, but the whole reason for so many oh, Leanne is to Your have her do the heavy lifting and fetching while Dorothy plants flowers the like the a queen or something. <laughs> right, right. And there's a weird little moment while Dorothy's digging with her hands and she kind of pauses. And it made me think of season two, the 2 a.m. episode where, where she buried Leanne alive mm -hmm. <laughs> um maybe she was remembering how the dirt felt on her hands you know what do you what do you guys think that that look meant that dorothy was giving let us know <sighs> yeah yeah we'd like to hear what you guys think about that because it's kind of confusing and um when she was prepping the flowers roots by breaking up the dirt and Leanne asks, you know, why are you doing that? Mm -hmm. uh, Dorothy says, you have to tear it up a little bit to make it pretty and compares it to women primping and exercising to look mm -hmm. good. Right, you know? right. Uh, is this a reference to the way cults break down members emotionally and mentally, um, you know, before building them up the way they want them to be? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Just a thought. Yeah. What are you doing? Um, that's a oh. great point. But, you know, yeah, Dorothy's right. I didn't girl. just wake up like this. So. <laughs> yes, she did. Yes, she did. Oh, no, I did not. Yeah, did y'all see the thumbnail? No. That's how I wake up. Please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, you know, then Dorothy pushes Leanne to go to the park with her, even though she doesn't mm -hmm. want to. Mm -hmm. And um, she's out there breathing like a cuckoo. Let's take a great big you know, breath like, of fresh air. Breath and, <laughs> Again, she has the unmitigated gall to bully Leanne into her stupid breathing exercise. Right, like, right, right. Well, so mad. The yeah, at the, at the same time, she's complaining that Leanne isn't doing it. <laughs> I can literally you know? hear you. Yeah, she says, I can literally hear you not breathing, uh, Leanne. Yeah. <laughs> but she does notice at this time that Leanne is frightened by the homeless kids watching her. Mm. So... Um, You guys, that was an ugly hat she had on. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, squirrel. But I mean, that was a really ugly hat. During this scene, she had that ugly hat on. Oh, she yeah. put it on. She had the nerd put on Jericho, so, too. Well, you, uh, your you're hat. saying you won't be looking for that yes. one online? No, like you I do. will not. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be looking for that ugly hat. <laughs> she had on if the role and if the roles were reversed and Sean had taken Jericho out and put that hat on Jericho, I think she would have told Sean she was emasculating Jericho. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's always okay for Dorothy, but not anybody else. Uh, now the next scene, uh, Dorothy's tending the garden with Jericho, and the homeless kid just walks right up behind her, scaring right. her. Yeah, yeah. He asked um, Dorothy, is she home? And Dorothy says, who? 
I had to laugh at this part because Leanne is always home. Right. Right. Leanne doesn't leave the house. Why would she say who? Like, yeah. Dorothy tells him to leave. Um, she says it's private property. Yeah. Uh, did you guys, did you notice how Dorothy, she like, she takes her back hand and she's grabbing the garden tool yeah, kind of yeah. in a threatening manner. Yeah. You know, so. Right. Like she, she was just like, mm. <laughs> but he leaves without incident. Yeah. Um, uh, then one of the most infuriating Dorothy moments ever, she notices the washing <laughs> machine is done. And she says, with all seriousness, <laughs> must I do everything myself? Wow. Wow. <laughs> Man. Dorothy is the epitome of privilege. Absolutely. Uh, but this is when she notices the blood is on the mm. overalls, which leads her to check the security tapes. Instead of just asking Leanne. What yeah, happened? Yeah. Which, yeah. I don't know, is kind of impressive for Dorothy. I really, I don't think she's stupid, but I didn't think she was that Yeah, clever. but I don't think Leanne had any intention of telling Dorothy what happened, though. So even if she would have asked her, I don't know. If, I don't know. I don't think Leanne would have told her. Hmm. Hmm. So. Yeah. Well, uh, we see Sean and Julian in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And this is where <laughs> Juju's eating the noodles out of the, the container. Very rudely. Uh, Dorothy isn't in the scene here, even though this is Dorothy's part. But why I mention it is because we learn that Dorothy asked Juju to encourage Sean to take the job, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. to push him on it. Mm -hmm. And then that's when we see the text from, well, Sean gets a text from Gourmet Gauntlet. Mm. Um, Julian hears it. He looks at the phone and he says, oh, Taylor, right. Taylor, producer lady. He says, and that sounds shady AF, <laughs> Abercrombie Fitch. <laughs> <laughs> that's what that stands for? Yes. <laughs> well, that's the G-rated version. Yes. Is shady <laughs> AF. <laughs> uh, and Dorothy wants And if him. anybody doesn't know what we're talking about, just, just Google shady AF and yeah. you'll learn. <laughs> <laughs> and try not to curse in this episode. Mm -mm -mm. So... Um, PG rated PG. <laughs> so, and Dorothy wants to come. That's when Dorothy wants to convince him to climb over. Well, no, she says every, every no to climb ever. No, she says to she climb wants, every bleep bleep mountain. Yeah. So yeah, I'm not cursing. So <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, um, then Dorothy pulls up the instant replay. Mm -hmm. You know, and reviews the tapes. You were impressed by that, why? But like I said, I um, I don't think she's stupid. She's not unintelligent. Um, but she usually doesn't notice anything other than herself or stuff that applies to her, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so by bypassing Leanne's explanation and just start reviewing the tape is a very undorthy like thing to do. But mm -hmm. she gets the story. Yeah. The real story. Almost the full story. Yeah. So according to the surveillance tape, there was about 17 minutes uh, where she couldn't see what had happened to Leanne. So she didn't get, she almost got the full story. You see, you know, yeah. see her walking out and she sure. walks back in, but she doesn't know what happened in between. Yeah. Out in the park. They don't mm -hmm. have cameras out in the mm -hmm. park. Yeah. This is about the time that Dorothy greets Nancy briefly and calls Leanne upstairs. Mm-hmm. Yeah. She looked both concerned and annoyed, which she found odd. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, she questions Leanne about the attack. Mm -hmm. um, she asked questions that I would love to hear the answers to myself, but she doesn't wait for the answers. Mm -hmm. She just keeps going. Yeah. One of the interesting exchanges came from this, that came from this conversation is, Dorothy wonders why mm. everyone is so worried about about her worrying. Right. Um, things that make you go. Hmm. <laughs> Dorothy, wake up already. We Jeez, want you to wake up. Come on. I don't think she's going to wake up till season four. Yeah. And she says, <laughs> it's my job to worry. Mm -hmm. Like, really? Yeah. Dorothy? They just oh. want to be prepared if and when she does remember Jericho's death. Mm. So... Yeah, who knows what will happen. So she's worried about 
what if you would have had Jericho and uh, you wondered out loud if Dorothy might kick her out, which I thought was clever, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, which would draw, it just cause tons of drama, right? And what I mean by that is like, you were thinking she might kick Leanne out. Right. Because, because she's she, bringing danger now. Right. Right? Right, right. So. Drama. Yeah. Yeah. Drama is an understatement. <laughs> um, if Leanne leaves, though, the jig is up. Yeah. And Leanne doesn't plan on leaving anytime soon. No, she's not. But they, they, you know, makes me think that, too, because they showed, a, they've been showing a clip of Dorothy having um, the reborn doll. Yeah. She's kind of. So I'm she's thinking, a weird did, she, look on her did face. she leave? Did she make Leanne leave? Right. And Leanne's like, oh, well. She's got that floppy old I baby leave, doll. Jericho leaves. So. <laughs> right. Right. So that may be the next thing up. What do you guys think about that? Did Did you pick up on it? You know? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. So. So I miss seeing Scary Jerry, though. <laughs> that crazy baby. <laughs> the The baby doll. They, his, his name yeah. Scary Jerry. They named, yeah, they, That's yeah, right. Seth, they, they, they named it Scary it Jerry. It took me a second to remember. <laughs> but you know another thing? I, why on earth didn't Leanne tell Dorothy that the homeless kids helped her? That she didn't great. have to admit the murder stuff, you know, mm-hmm. but she could have said they mm-hmm. helped. Yeah, that's a great point. How much better would they all feel if they knew they had protection? Right. So. <sighs> anyway, next we see Dorothy sitting across from Sean and between between Julian and the God lady at the dinner table. Okay, okay. Was there significance there? Is she protecting Nancy? Is he protecting Nancy from Julian and, and them? I don't know. You know? I don't know. I don't know. But Dorothy's pretty flippant about the whole thing. <laughs> you know, again, yes. with like the pretentiousness. All she right. states she looked up universal u- unitarianism and <laughs> sings an old you, you I song. You, 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 you. I don't know. It was weird. Yeah, well, she, she sang <laughs> it in like a super mocking manner, too. Yes. I guess that was like the old... <laughs> Um, motto of the church you know okay yeah. do you do you think it was mocking oh yeah yeah it seemed really condescending you know yeah but at least she showed some interest in the church she done she looked some stuff up she did. <laughs> <laughs> but you may be right because um julian introduces himself and she goes back to being kind of flighty showing because she didn't because she, she didn't even remember to introduce julian to right to Nancy. Right. She is concerned about herself. Mm-hmm. And to further the point, she drills down on her disdain for Nancy's uh, career and lifestyle choice by asking uh, that condescending question about her education level, starting mm-hmm. at mm-hmm. the top, or right? With the PhD. Yeah. She says, do you have a PhD? When Nancy replies with, oh, no, I have a master's in divinity, to which Dorothy says, oh, that's so much quicker. It's like, <laughs> oh, come on. So we, we know Dorothy has a degree in, in nursing, right? Um, so like her father says something earlier in the, the show, um, that she went to school of whatever nursing. Okay. Um, so if it was a nursing school, she has an associate's. You know, at best, it's, it's a... Um, a BS, a Bachelor of Science in Nursing. Yeah, I don't know. I don't. I don't remember him saying that she has a nursing degree. There is a degree. There's a plaque on the wall from. Um, oh God, I'll I'll find it. I'll put a picture mm-hmm. of it here. Um, here. 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 I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's kind of blurry. You can't tell what it's what it's in. Oh, well, maybe some of the... It's from Drexel. I think University of Drexel. That's a good university, right? Is it? Oh, I, don't, I, don't I don't know. I've heard of it. I, I'm not even sure if, she, if it's University <laughs> of Drexel, but... Well, this led to a great line by Julian. Okay, you know, okay. <laughs> which we talked about <laughs> yeah, this we better talked about earlier. earlier. But, uh, from his, or from Dorothy's point of view, she, was, she was walking away. Mm-hmm. So did she hear this? I don't know. But this is where she, you know, he says she has a PhD in wasp right, linguistics. Yeah, yeah, you said that. <laughs> you said that earlier. Uh, yeah, that was so good. Uh, so. Yeah, so yeah, Dorothy, she excuses herself, um, allowing her rude comment to sink in. <laughs> yeah, and for no comment to come back. Right, you know, right. That's, a, that's an old technique. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, and then 
Dorothy as the got lady to say grace. Oh, and we would be so honored, you know, when she <laughs> when she turned it down because she's like, oh, no, I'm just here to, you know, yeah. be a guest. Yeah. Like, what? Why do you think she said that when she doesn't mean it? She not wouldn't be honored. Know, like, probably what? appearances again. Like it was a gesture, kind of like the baptism. Oh. So. Yeah. Well, then she defends Leanne from Sean when he snapped at her, mm-hmm. you know, because mm-hmm. she, she got mad and how it was so rude. And she's like, oh, Sean, she's just joking. Right. So right. it's so weird how she's up and down and. You know, Mm -hmm. nice and mean and, Mm -hmm. you know, Mm -hmm. condescending and then supportive. Like, yeah. anyway. Yeah. It was a roller coaster of emotions Mm -hmm. (laughs) for that, you know, Mm -hmm. the whole Mm love-hate Dorothy thing. Who else thinks that Dorothy is bored at this point and is doing a poor job of hiding it? (laughs) Oh, (laughs) everybody, right? Like, she was just like... (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> <laughs> but at least she has that moment of solidarity here with leanne she you know is. but um did you guys know baby brain is a real thing yeah, so yeah. the term refers to uh, memory problems mm-hmm. poor concentration and absent-mindedness reported by many women during pregnancy and early motherhood yeah so yeah well sean asked dorothy why she brought jericho to the table you know, um, and now he's awake and blah, blah, blah. And Dorothy says, Dorothy, <laughs> Dorothy says she wants him close to her. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And, and what was that knowing glance that Dorothy shared with Leanne? Right after she said that, she looked at Leanne, Leanne looked at her like, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. uh, it seemed like Leanne returned the look to her. And do you guys think that she was insinuating that Nancy may be distracting them? While the cult sneaks in and snatches baby Jericho? No, I don't I don't think Dorothy is going to want Leanne to leave. And that was a look of I don't trust you with my baby look. Oh, okay. You know, she that like we said earlier, I think she wants to protect Jericho. That's why she woke him that's why he's sitting there with her, because she doesn't she thinks uh, Leanne is putting him in danger. Mm. That's why I think mm. that's what I think that look was for. Okay. Do you want to put up the uh, Well, a couple of oh, odd notes I'm fine. during Thank dinner. Thank you. Uh, okay. I'm as Dorothy notices Nancy's goosebumps, right. even though she isn't cold and Leanne's annoyed or stressed out foot bouncing. Okay. Which I do that all the oh, time yeah. when I'm annoyed or. <laughs> I, yeah, you do. You yeah. do the same thing. <laughs> the exact same thing. <laughs> uh, that scene reminded me of um, like when you see cats and dogs and their hair standing up. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, that's, how, that's how she felt when she got around Leanne. Well, it's definitely a like a fight or f- fight or flight response. Okay. And considering there is a apex predator right across the table from her, <laughs> it's probably a good good thing, you know. Um, but uh, then a bomb almost <laughs> dropped, right? Okay. They mentioned uh, a fan of the show, of the Gormit Gauntlet show, is addicted last to the season, show. right? Mm-hmm. Or uh, God Lady mentions this. Uh, I think it was her brother or something. Anyway, and Dorothy seemed to almost remember, you know, because they're talking about the fall and all that. But then she just starts joking and seems to let it go. You know, that's when she made the comment about the fish. And yeah. It's not okay, up to scale. yeah. yeah. So the tension is building now. Dorothy now seems to be the voice of reason. Um, Wow, shocking. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, she makes excuses for Leanne's rudeness and uh, suggests that they all call a night and get some sleep. Like, yeah, that shocked yeah. me actually. Yeah, yeah. We have another close call here, maybe, as Dorothy's putting um, Jericho down, and then she pulls up the final episode of Gourmet Gauntlet, yeah. and where Sean is saying, uh, "Cooking is about heart, and and to be the best, you must love. You must leave no room to love anything else." That's weird, right? And then she seems triggered here. Is it from that awful comment her husband just made? <laughs> or is she kind of breaking down that mental protection barrier? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Cooking is about heart. Yeah, you mean the one that, yes. when you say that, do you mean no the one like a saving her from remembering else. what she did? Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. Right, right. How many of you think she remembers deep down inside? Mm. All right. So now we're going to go to Leanne. Okay. Leanne's section. So this, uh, 
Leanne's part starts off. Uh, Leanne is in bed. It looks like she has restless leg syndrome or something. She's kind of kicking in her in her sleep, dreaming about what had happened uh, okay. last night. Okay. Yeah, she's rudely awakened by Dorothy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. This is Kool-Aid man. And then, yeah. Okay. Well, she didn't realize how long she had slept. Okay. You know, or who knows how long she was up, you know. Um, she's ready to get up and start serving Dorothy. She even said it almost panicked, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think you're right. Dorothy was kind of like being a little passive aggressive here. And a Leanne, little. I think Leanne <laughs> picked up on that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, as we suspected, Dorothy really didn't get... Um, uh, she didn't care about if Leanne felt good or not. Uh, her real concern shows at this point, you know, mm -hmm. she wanted Leanne to get up and help her with the garden. Yeah. Yeah. You know, so you think she's got her doing the grunt work <laughs> or all the hard work? Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, the assistant stuff, uh, you know, like if I wanted to work in the garden, which I don't know why I would ever want to work in the garden, but if I did and I, I had, want to work in the garden. So I don't like it. Okay. But I would have somebody doing that stuff, mm -hmm. <laughs> you yeah. know? Yeah, right about here, we see Leanne defending Sean because her and Dorothy are, are talking, and ta Dorothy was talking smack about Sean mm. as saying he's not a confident person. Yeah, and yeah. At that moment, going back to what uh, you said about Dorothy burying Leanne in remembering. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, do you think that Leanne is remembering it as well? Like, is she thinking about the whole thing? Because um, she kind of, you know, when Dorothy pauses and went into her little weird space, you know, mm -hmm. um, her little catatonic <laughs> three-second thing, yeah. uh, Leanne kind of looked at her weird. Yeah, you know? I, don't, I don't know, but all I know is this is not the type of girl time I want. <laughs> 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 yeah well leanne walks into the the basement at this point uh telling sean it isn't safe okay and that's okay. when he was sitting on the boards or he was squatting down on the boards and he's okay. measuring how deep the hole is from there i don't know why do you think leanne freaks out okay so my theory on this is because she was getting really familiar with sean um like a confidant, right? Okay. And then he snaps at her, right? So instead of being equals, she reverts back to being almost like a child, kind of like she was in season one when he was mean to her and she just mm -hmm. kind of took it and, you know. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's odd because she runs away from him. She does. She turned out around. Yeah. And, you know, I, I really think... You know, Sean needs to remember those splinters. <laughs> you remember those splinters, Sean? <laughs> uh, I would never forget that, you know. Uh, but this is why I think that Dorothy is going to want Leanne to leave as well. And I think it's a good theory. Uh, she wants to protect Jericho, and she feels Leanne is going to put him in danger. And uh, mm -hmm. it seems like she's connecting with Sean more than Dorothy may be comfortable yeah. with. Yeah, and then this time, this is about the time Dorothy drags Leanne outside with that ugly hat, <laughs> and we see the color red because yeah. Leanne is wearing that that big old red parka. <laughs> um, what does the color red symbolize in with M Night Shyamalan? In M Night Shyamalan universe? world, yes, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's known. Uh, he's known for his use of symbolic colors. Mm -hmm. Right. And, and mm -hmm. a lot of his movies and stuff, for example, in the sixth sense, red was used as a connection to the dead and um, to forewarn that something was about to happen. OK. Yeah. That's interesting. It so, is. Um, as Dorothy's giving Leanne a hard time about not participating in the breathing exercises, <laughs> Leanne notices all the homeless kids looking at her. And that sparks another memory yeah. about what happened the night before. Um, as she was indeed attacked by those two cult members. Yeah. Well, let's talk about what the cult couple says to Leanne. Okay. Um, they make two statements. All right. Um, we know what you did. What you've done. And we know what you We are. know what you are. So, okay, guys. What do you think she meant by we know what you did? Sonia, what, what do you think she meant by that? 
I was thinking it was about resurrecting Jericho. Like we know you resurrected resurrected Jericho without our without his, his permission. No. You know, what about you? Yeah, probably that. Or maybe what happened to her parents. You know, going back even farther, maybe she started the fire. Okay. You know? Yeah. Either way, that was a pretty intense scene. Yeah. They they slit their both of those people's throats yeah the homeless kids the homeless you know kids, that's yeah. when they they came yeah. in and uh, mm-hmm. you know saved her because it looked like mm-hmm. they were about to stab her in the eye yeah did, yeah did you think that too mm-hmm. or okay yeah absolutely yeah. so the next scene um jumps to leanne freaking out trying to calm down in front of the mirror yeah back in the house yeah right? but, but obviously you know, yeah she's back in her room you know okay. she or she's in the she's in the bathroom and then she's in her room and but she's obviously upset about over the murders and you know they kind of slaughtered them like cattle. They did. There know, wasn't a whole really. lot of emotion, not even from the people. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, um, I wonder if anybody noticed the mannequin's hand. Oh it's yeah. It's around the ten minute mark. Um, it looked it, like. Uh, you said it. Was looked, it always like that? I don't think it was always like so that. Since when do mannequin's fingers bend? Right. <laughs> like I Well, like one hand was kind of out like this. The other hand kind of like had an okay symbol. Yeah. It was, or something like that. It's weird. Right, so go back to that 10 minute mark and you'll see it. You guys probably already saw it. So it's probably not something new. But yeah. That's when see. she was on the. Because everybody noticed the mannequin. The, on the no, floor, kind of yeah, crying. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. But then it skips to later that night, and Leanne greets Julian at the door. Yeah. And mentions uh, no Vera, huh? Yeah. Right. Bill thought it was a flirty tone. I, I really, <laughs> I absolutely think it was flirty. Yeah. And also in a sarcastic tone, Leanne says she's looking forward to meeting the God Lady. Yeah. You yeah. know? Yeah. So Leanne just left the God Lady outside in the cold. <laughs> she did. Well... <laughs> Leanne's Hello? in control of the situation. Yeah. Like she does the whole, I'm going to wait while you're knocking. I know it's cold out there. So you're mm. going to wait for me until I'm ready to open the door. Okay. You know, Yeah. Um, hmm. I, uh, that immediately made me think of, uh, you know, cause I it was a, a boxer back in the day, many, many moons ago. And, you know, sometimes a boxer, like when the one guy goes to the ring, the other guy waits longer okay. and it's kind of a disrespect thing but it's it's a control thing as well you know okay okay that's interesting <laughs> yeah <laughs> question for you um did leanne make that door slam or was it just simply the wind right door slams what do you guys think it, it, this is when <laughs> nancy walks in yeah and then uh just boom it, it slams uh if nancy is a member of the cult or an associate of the cult Mm-hmm. Um, and she knows the powers they possess, right? Mm-hmm. Maybe she's like, oh, wow. You mm-hmm. know, because she yeah. looked shocked, you know? Yeah, yeah. The next scene when Leanne says Nancy should wait with her made me think of the girl time earlier when Dorothy said, keep your enemies closer. Yes, yeah, that's a good observation. So. Well, mm-hmm. did you notice... Uh, that Leanne huffed when Dorothy pulled her side. I remember Dorothy came down about halfway downstairs. She's a hi, God lady. <laughs> I didn't know? notice till you till you pointed it yeah. out. Yeah. When so. she asked her to come up, she's just like <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Why? You know? Other than it being an impetuous teenager thing, uh, is she annoyed that they're leaving Sean alone with the God Lady? Mm-hmm. Almost like she doesn't want alone time with Sean so and the lady so she can influence them anymore okay maybe yeah yeah well, maybe or maybe she's just tired of Dorothy's BS <laughs> you know um, <laughs> I would be I would be uh why and why isn't Leanne saying anything she got defensive why are you watching me this is like you know after Dorothy had reviewed the tapes right and mm-hmm. she pulled her up to mm-hmm. to say hey I saw you get attacked she wasn't saying anything Mm -hmm. she could have easily explained what's Mm -hmm. going on yeah it's like why are they being so secretive with each other why not just be honest but again that's we wouldn't have a show 
without that, <laughs> I guess. But Leanne's not scared anymore. She's not scared. <laughs> uh, yeah. I, I just, I still, it baffles me that she could have just said, hey, those, mm-hmm. those kids are protecting me. Right. You know, they did this, so don't worry anymore. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, what's holding her back to say that? I, yeah, only time will tell. It makes me wonder if maybe Leanne's plotting now. You know, she's like, wait a minute. I don't just have the Turners to depend on now. I oh, got, yeah. I got me yeah. a little army. Right. Yeah. Hmm. But let's talk about if looks could kill. <laughs> Daggers. <laughs> that, if you have never understood what someone some says sleep. by staring daggers <laughs> at someone mm-hmm. this is it watch this scene at dinner after nancy mentions she doesn't do I guilt meant no offense leanne gives her that particular look <laughs> you know okay. and then leanne, that's i don't know when dorothy notices nancy had goosebumps you, did leanne do something to her open. like mm-hmm. power wise yeah so you yeah. think about anything there's some emotional terrorism going on. <laughs> there, oh, it shouldn't have to have powers for that. There's definitely emotional terrorism. But yeah, maybe she could feel her probing mentally, you know? Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Or maybe one of her powers is being able to manipulate people's emotions, like like in Dune. Okay. You know, when they're like, get out of my mind, you know, they can feel yeah, each other. Yeah, I love Dune. Oh my God, I love Dune. <laughs> and and the, new, the new one's great. So. Anyway, uh, um, but maybe like Star Wars too, you know, mm-hmm. there's, there's stuff mm-hmm. in there too, where they yeah. can, you know, X-Men, yeah. whatever, like they, they could read their minds and they could feel them doing it, especially mm-hmm. when other people have powers, Yeah, you know? Yeah. This series always has, does such a good job of keeping us guessing. So. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> especially like the scene where Sean spills the wine on Leanne's fish carcass, mm-hmm. which it wasn't really a mm-hmm. carcass at that time. It had a lot of meat on there. Like. <laughs> she was not really eating for some reason. Uh, yeah. But you remember that the, that's when it triggered her vision because I remember there's a dagger. And we talked a little bit about this before, but we didn't mention this part. Like I was telling you guys how the blood is on the knife a certain way and the knife sitting a certain way. Mm-hmm. Well, remember there's a dagger involved here and those people had it and were going to stab her with it. Right. You know, or yeah. look like they were. Yeah. Yeah, what that man says to her, you know, when she's when she goes when Leanne goes back, it triggers that vision. Uh The man says to her, "You will return to him." Right. And the woman says, "You must be reunited." Reunited with him. Him. Like right. Ugh. Did you guys notice when the bodies hit the ground, like after they they killed the man first, right, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then they killed the woman. And it looks like some force or spirit is released from the bodies and goes into the trees. Uh, it's not like just a breeze, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. it's and yeah. If you the notice the it leaves pushes, like moved. Yeah, yeah. Right, but it, it pushes them up. Right, it did look like that, kind of yeah. like in the happening movie that everyone hated. <laughs> that everyone hated. <laughs> yeah, except me. I liked it. I liked it too. No, you yeah, you yeah, did yeah. Too. I liked happening. Yeah. We're, well. We're, they, Seems to be we we'll be alone in that, but <laughs> <laughs> well, do you, hey, do you guys like uh, the, the happening? happening you yeah, know? that's another M Night movie. <laughs> uh, we use one of the trees kind of decided to kill us because they were tired of RBS. <laughs> yeah, you know? uh, but anyways, the the homeless kids they carry the bodies, they they pull them back, and the one kid we're calling the leader, he mm-hmm. he uh, drops to his knees like mm-hmm. in servitude mm-hmm. and leanne says what do you want from me i'm not like you and they're like we know mm-hmm. right what, what do you think of that yeah he says um because she asked are you with them right yeah he says not anymore ah so well, well let's talk about this scene um she says what do you want from me, right? Like mm-hmm, I said. Mm-hmm. And uh, you said, not to him, you're still here, right? Mm-hmm. Like, maybe I could say that better. Like, um, he had said, you said no to him, mm-hmm. and you're still here, meaning not dead or, or whatever, right? Right. So who's him? 
Right. They've mentioned him throughout the series quite a bit, as if they're talking about God, but we think they're talking about the leader of the cult, the, the guy that was briefly shown in Roscoe's vision. Okay, okay, yeah. After that, the flashback... Yeah, I think back to that idea. Yeah, I think. yeah. Then we're back in current time, right? Yeah, yeah. So you think it's the cult leader too, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I definitely think it's the cult leader. That's why that fat guy was, <laughs> you know, whipping, whipping himself. himself yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but after the flashback, we're back to the current time at mm-hmm. the dinner table, and Leanne's getting sick of the god lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's losing her patience with her. Uh, and, and not like she had much to begin with in <laughs> right, the first place, right? Right. <laughs> right. She even at one point, um, she says, thanks for your permission. Oh yeah. That's after she had said, you know, oh, it's okay that she's acting this way. You know, mm-hmm. you're young and you should be questioning stuff. Right. Yeah. Do you guys think that the, uh, during, you know, when, the Nancy, the God lady, is talking during this time. Do you guys think that she was being empathetic or being condescending? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know. I think she's being condescending because the lady seems to be one-upping Leanne, you know, by saying, oh, it's okay, my path wasn't always a straight line, but I was always meant to return to him. And... Not only says it like that, but she projects her face forward. Like, go back and watch that, how she does it. Oh, okay. um, she said it in an aggressive way with a tone. Like, she goes, and I return to him. Okay. And uh, I don't think I'm exaggerating. So go watch that part again. You'll see what I'm saying. Hmm. You probably already caught it, you know, in, in the first place. But um, it almost mirrors what the female in the cult couple said right before she was executed about returning with him. You know, interesting. So, I I I didn't notice it right away. I went back and watched it, and oh. I did see how she did. You know, it wasn't like a real exaggerated. Well, I push, thought, but yes, yeah, yeah. she definitely did. But at this point, Leanne had had enough and said, <laughs> "I I see you. I see, <laughs> I see you. Yeah. I see you. You're rotten inside." And then Sean, you know, starts to get angry. But yeah. Leanne totally, she just completely ignores ignores ig- him, ignores Sean. She didn't look at him, which is really different of how she reacted earlier in the basement. Yeah, you know, it's like her confidence is skyrocketing now. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's like a game of control between the two. Um, and the God Lady Nancy tries one last uh, grab of control with a condescending statement. She stands up, first of all, which is a common technique to overpower someone in a conversation. Mm -hmm. Um, And she does the whole, my door is always open and we could talk about anything. Mm -hmm. To which Leanne immediately (laughs) snatches back control by reminding her of her greatest My secrets. Um, Which is, which we, we already found out, but it is beating her mother. The patient. Sean. Yeah. 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 What yeah, we see in the prayer group is if private. It felt good to hit her. Oh. And, you know, her. I Nancy's bet. And then she said, I bet you did. You know? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I bet it made her feel, uh, made you feel good treating her like a small insect. Right. And then she pulls, hey, some insects bite and poof, you're gone. A thinly, very thinly veiled threat, right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. So that just jacks her up. Her, her <laughs> face is twitching and she's crying. Oh, and yeah. she she gets so upset she has to leave. The, the god lady is, right? She excuses herself and, um, you know, leaves with the tears rolling down her face. Mm-hmm. I just have to say that when we could see Nancy getting physically upset you know like her face was shaking <laughs> her her eyes they look black to me yeah. like like i don't know if you guys watch carnival Ooh, um, good good old series carnival yeah hbo um series supernatural stuff 
but she, her eyes look like Brother Justin's eyes. <laughs> and it looked like it looked like who a was combina- a demon. Yes. Basically. Yeah. It was a combination of that. And then in total recall, when the <laughs> eyes were bulging out, it did look like her eyes were very, bulging out. It did. They're bulging. And I thought they kind of were moving independently, you know, yeah, which is yeah. really uh, weird, you know. Yeah. Did you guys think her <laughs> eyes looked black? I I don't know. Yeah, maybe so. we were just tripping. <laughs> but after Leanne runs off the God Lady, we find out that she's not so godlike. Like we said, uh, when uh, Juju asked Leanne how she knew about that, uh, how do you know Nancy's, Nancy's naughty not past? She just, you know, she said she does guess. But I just guess. Yeah, we, but know. we suspect we she's guess. got a supernatural connection. Yes, At least we yes. hope. We hope. Yeah, maybe, <laughs> like we said, maybe she could read people's sins, you know? What do you guys think it is? Hmm, hmm. Like another one of M. Night Shyamalan's characters oh, um, yeah. uh, in Unbreakable, mm-hmm. Bruce Willis' character just had to touch someone. Remember, he could just, he would, yep, he could just touch him. Them. And he knew what they had done. Yeah. So maybe Leanne has a similar ability. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be cool. Mm -hmm. Uh, But we don't have to speculate (laughs) because Juju pulls it up on Reddit, (laughs) which is like the greatest (laughs) site ever, right? The ultimate authority. uh, The ultimate authority and finds that uh, (laughs) naughty God Lady Nancy was indeed naughty. And she was actually convicted of physically abusing her mother. Mm Mm-hmm. you know, so that. Right. Yeah. So we see it. That's confirmed. Yeah. You know, yeah. And then next we see, you know, Leanne, of course, ask uh, <laughs> uh, Julian to teach her how to smoke marijuana, you know, like my great grandma would have. Yeah. <laughs> but how would a very sheltered, possibly dead girl ask how to smoke weed? <laughs> you got it right <laughs> well julian ever the gallant knight in shining armor green armor i don't know he happens to have a stash still you know yeah and after one solid puff she's giggling yeah i don't think this was leanne's first time <laughs> why maybe wanna because she didn't even cough well, did she not really inhale a lot because she didn't even she looked cough. like she didn't tell she went <laughs> Yeah, so I mean, but maybe that's the supernaturalness of her. Oh yeah, that's right, man. <laughs> she she should be coughing big time. But yeah, this is when the I mean, I do want to call him the lead homeless kid sneaks up and and Leanne calms Julian down as he's ready to fight, which I don't think he's really ready to fight. Mm-hmm. He ain't beating up nothing. Um, and she thinks the kid again, like we said, like a mob boss, you know, checking in on her. Yeah, and uh, you know he retires yeah she the, was like a mafia yeah. a boss our yeah. little girl is growing up she's a boss now <laughs> yeah a mob <laughs> boss yeah well in the final scene uh leanne is displaying a full-on case of the munchies which i thought was hilarious <laughs> yeah she offers sean a chip because sean goes upstairs <laughs> to yell at her to, yeah to yell at her about how she yell acted at, at, at dinner um you know, but she offers Sean, Sean a chip, knowing dang well he's there to complain <laughs> about dinner, about her yeah. behavior at dinner. Yeah. So <laughs> well, we we always do who had the best line of the episode, and in this one it's Leanne. And I mentioned earlier, as cool as Juju was and Dorothy's uh, lines, where I wanted Sonia to to uh, tell the line because you when you did it just cracked me up. <laughs> So Sean walks up and is like, what was that down there? Nancy sucks. <laughs> she eats her chip. She does. Just Nancy she, sucks. Nancy sucks. <laughs> it's funny, too, because she's like, uh, Sean was asking her, how how did you possibly, you couldn't have possibly known about mm-hmm, that, mm-hmm. you know? And then, uh, again, he said, Our, I thought we were on the same team and blah, 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 which, you know, insinuating that that she needs to be more you know uh i don't want to say subservient to them but be on their side more and whatever which is Mm -hmm. she obviously was offended by that yeah right because she's all about them yeah she says you know 
Sean says that they are on her side because she says, well, why aren't you on my side? And she said, you know, he's like, mm -hmm. we are on your side, you know, but then Leon, 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 Leon counters it. Leon, with, did you get into Juju stash? Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's why this video is so long. <laughs> <laughs> right. But Leon counters with, you're not on my side, like, and then Ooh. she stops. Stops. Yeah, she, like, bites her tongue. You ain't killing mm -hmm. nobody here, for me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was about to say, you know, right. like my you new murder cult you. cronies. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> but you know, again, why didn't she want to tell him just about be on that? Leave you know, guys, leave we are on your like, side. Yeah. We are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. let she us know. She doesn't want to tell Sean and Dorothy about yeah. the, the kids helping her. I really wanted to hear the reaction, you mm -hmm, know? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. But okay, let's do a little <laughs> bit of a recap. I know we've we've done this probably our longest video. So if you guys like that, cool. I know I, I always like when reviews and podcasts were really long, but not everybody yeah. does. But mm -hmm. let's uh let's fill in the holes here. Okay. If hole they're filling. <laughs> <laughs> like they should be doing uh in the city streets, but they're not. <laughs> okay <laughs> like they should be doing in the show but okay let's start with him. him i think we've established that him refers to the cult leader i think it's pretty yeah pretty obvious so but with any text capitalized text means god okay because they if you notice in, uh, of course in the bible but this is goes for any book or whatever that refers to um a deity okay they'll refer to as him and it's capitalized. Okay. You know, and we say it a lot here. Um, you, you guys would agree with that, right? I mean, since we're dealing with resurrection and all that, mm -hmm. I'm wondering if we're going to get to like Egyptian religious mythology since Osiris is the God of resurrection, mm -hmm. you know, and I'm mm -hmm. sure every religion has, you know, their resurrection piece to it. But what do you, what do you think? Yeah, like you said, most religions do have resurrection as a big part of it, kind of mm -hmm. like Jesus and Christianity. Yeah, it's probably so. the biggest biggest part of Christianity, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, the resurrection story, true, true, true. Um, yeah, so it's throughout pretty much all religions. So we could talk about this all day. So let's just <laughs> let's move on. <laughs> now, here's a question for you. The leader of the homeless crew mm -hmm. um, was impressed with Leanne. Um, because she denied the orders of him. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. here's my question. So does that mean if he shows up, they would all just have to listen to him? To him? Yeah. Would they be under his control again? That's a good question. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but <laughs> my question is, is... Were they under his orders until they saw Leanne disobeying? Ooh. And then they decided to disobey him themselves. So maybe they were there to get her at first. Mm -hmm. Or did they leave the cult a long time ago? Right. So, right. Which one? I, yeah. Hopefully we'll find that um, out soon. I have one more thought. The gods in the show... American Gods. Yeah, very um, cool. Yes. First season. The first season. Second first season. season was awful. Um, <laughs> or the third season was awful. Second season was okay. Um, also, the Greek gods in the clash of the Titan movies all gained power the more believers they had. Oh. So is that similar here? Like, is Leanne getting stronger oh, because yeah, of yeah. her group of followers? Yeah, because we see her confidence going up and, and mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. yeah we we got some answers this week for sure and a few more questions <laughs> can't wait for next week's episode it's called camp congratulations on being right on the theory you and all of you <laughs> and thanks for watching yes please uh hit the like for us um subscribe if you haven't already and uh if you could share it uh, and see if we can get some more subscribers. I think we got 166 now. 171. Uh, oh, okay. 171. Yeah. yeah, but they're the best 171 God didn't bring back out there. Bye. Bye. I'm not dead. <laughs>